heat from the sun that differentially heat the environment of the earth, that is, the earth's atmosphere and earth's surface are unevenly heated. There are different temperatures at different places on earth and this difference in temperature causes warmer air to move up and cooler air to move down. And this moving of air is called wind. And this wind energy is trapped to serve various purposes. Windmill. Windmill uses the kinetic energy of the wind to pump the underground water and to grind grain. And big wind turbines use the kinetic energy of the wind to produce electricity that lights our home and much more. So, Wind energy is another renewable source of energy on Earth. And sun is the driving force behind wind energy. The only disadvantage of wind energy is that the speed of wind keeps changing. So does the wind energy. Now let's learn hydro energy. Like wind, water is also always flowing on Earth's surface. And this flowing water possesses kinetic energy that can be trapped to produce electric energy. Big dams are created to trap the potential energy of water and convert this potential energy of water to kinetic energy of water, which is then used to produce electricity. Next is biomass energy, or the energy stored in dead or living plant and animal matter. Plants use the solar energy to grow and produce fruit. And this fruits, vegetables, all store energy. This energy is transferred to those who eat it, animals or humans. So the energy is stored in all living organisms, living or once living. Even the dead remains of the once living things possess energy. That is, plants, waste, and dead decaying animals all have stored energy in them, which is known as bioenergy. And this biomass energy can be trapped in various ways. Burning burning of biomass like wood and other waste from the plant matter releases energy in the form of heat that can be used to produce electricity, decomposition, garbage, human and animal waste, dead animals, all can be left to rot. And that releases a gas called biogas also known as methane gas or landfill gas. And this biogas is a very good fuel which can be used for cooking and it can be used to produce electricity too. Now let's learn about another renewable source of energy and it's geothermal energy. A lot of energy is stored beneath the Earth's surface in the form of hot molten matter or magma and this energy can be trapped through various means steam of lava is trapped and used to run the turbines which in turn produces electricity it's a clean and sustainable energy this heat energy of molten matter can be trapped from a few miles beneath the earth's surface using a geothermal heat pump system this energy can be directly used for heating homes and offices. Some cities in the U.S. also pipe this hot water and make an extensive network of pipes under the roads and sidewalks to melt snow. So kids, we learned about a lot of renewable sources of energy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!